I'm David Latchman. I'm the Master of Birkbeck, which I've been since 2003. Um, and I'm also a professor of genetics, both in Birkbeck and at UCL. Well, I think it's about what it says. It's about gender equality. So we should make sure that the college treats people equally regardless of their gender. And that's about in recruitment terms. It's about in terms of career progression and it's in terms of pay. So everything should proceed in a way which effectively is, uh, doesn't look at gender specifically. Beckbeck was founded on the basis of providing equality of opportunity. So right from 192 years ago when George Beckbeck founded the college, it was about giving opportunities to people, to working people, to develop themselves. It would be very foolish and wrong if an institution with that basis discriminated on the basis of gender. So I think it's very important for us to not to do that and also to take full advantage of the talent pool. So we, by doing this, we are making sure that we get the very best staff and by treating them in the best way, we make sure that they do their best for Backpack. Well, I think there are a number of challenges. The first starts at the point of recruitment. How do we make sure that people who are suitable for the position apply for the job and don't think that be put off for any reason, including gender? Secondly, once we have people here, how do we make sure that promotion and pay are treated on an equal basis and that people go through the system in that way? Now, part of that answer is in the unconscious bias training that we have to ensure that people don't have an unconscious bias that discriminates against a particular group. But also, we have to put in other place other measures. So, for example, it's been shown that women tend to apply less for pay rises, tend to apply less for promotion. So, we introduced a system where after people people have initially applied, we, the management, go through all the non-applicants and look very carefully to see, are they people who should be applying for promotion, are they people who haven't applied for pay increases at senior level for a number of years, and then I write to those people and encourage them to apply. So I think there are a lot of challenges, but by trying to work around those challenges, you can make sure that you take full benefit from your workforce and ensure that they're happy and getting what they should be getting.